Hi guys, we're the ECB team and today we're going to predict again the semi-final qualifiers. After two different occasions of the semi-finals rehearsals, we finally can say who's going to qualify or not. Let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get started, guys. Open up Rotterdam to the place in your heart where your own vision So we can do it by quickly review the semi-finalists of semi-final one this time. I'm going to do it by the running order and each one of us is going to say qualifier or not. And if we don't agree, of course, we're going to justify it. Sounds fair? Yep. Fair enough. So let's start. Semi-final one. Uh, the country who started in the beginning is Lithuania. Do you think Lithuania will qualify? For it's me, yes no for doubt. Me. I think, you know, we were looking to see exactly what we have on stage right now. It seems similar to the national final. It was perfect. It stayed perfect. Nothing more to add. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Good energies. No staging problems. No vocal problems. Gonna sail through the final. Second country is Slovenia. Anna Soklic with Amen. It's difficult, oh, I want to hear you. <laughs> Sorry? For me. I want to hear your opinion. Um, I'm, I think it's going to be a surprise qualifier. Yeah. The answer is yes. 11th place. Don't say it. Okay, I wish. New. I wish, but don't say it. I was actually kind of surprised from the, her vocals. First of all, I, I knew, you know, she had no vocal issues, but I was kind of surprised when I saw the rehearsal. And I really like the video art. I'm, uh, I'm getting the same vibes as uh, Croatia 2019, right? Or a stick. Uh, which one? R Rocco? Ah, uh, no Rocco. So, 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 <laughs> so, so, so I'm getting the vibes like in uh, Serbia tw 2019. And it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. I'm not sure it's enough to qualify because this semifinal is really, really hard. Like so many good uh, performances. But, but really, really good luck to Anna because she's amazing. Yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah. next country, guys. Yes. yes. Next up is Russia Manija. Do you think Russia going to qualify? No doubt. No doubt. Yeah, the answer is yes. Very good staging concept. She sounds great. I love the so staging. Well, I love the I'm idea. I'm in shock with you. Listen, the song isn't my type at all, and I don't really like it mus musically, but she delivered a message. Thank you. She's so, yeah, she's so adorable. Uh, she has charisma. Yeah, the answer is yes. And even going to be top five of that semi. So, yes. So Next country. Mm -hmm. You know me. I always stray, stay, stay behind my ideas. And even though it isn't that popular, or even though I think I'm wrong, I fix it. Yeah, I was wrong about Russia. Again, I don't like the song. Sorry. But it's a matter of taste. The liver, the whole package is excellent. I agree. And I saw it from the beginning. She's really, really, really good. She has... Mm -hmm. Tons of charisma, this lady. Yeah, no so, doubt. No she's doubt. She's amazing. Yeah. And we're going to hear a lot about her, even after Eurovision. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It isn't a question, even. Um, okay, guys, it's getting warm here because the next country is Sweden. I, know, he will. I, I think he will. I think he will. If, even the song and staging is kind of messy in Sweden and people like it. So I think Sweden will qualify. Mm -hmm. I don't see, you know, you know, I see it happening just because it's Sweden. I think it's too much going on on stage. It's not really fit the song. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't but know. I it, qualify just because it's Sweden. I think that in certain uh, point, they try to blind us with all that flickering lights. And uh, maybe that, that we can't forget about his bad vocals. Uh, anyway, yeah, it's going to qualify because it's Sweden. But on grade final, it's not going to do well at all. Mm -hmm. I think that Sweden won't be top 10 even. Yeah, let me uh, say that. Uh, but it's justified. For me, it should not qualify. I'm sorry. But again, we predict not to vote for test. So I guess, yeah, the answer is yes again. Okay, next country is Australia, Montaigne. Don't see it. I don't, I don't see it. Me, me neither. It's my top 10, as you know, probably. But I think that performing remotely and not from Rotterdam will not be an advantage here. Um, I don't know, different stage, etc. And the song is divisive to begin with. 
uh, Montaigne voice isn't the one that everyone goes after immediately. So if I just put all of the things together, unfortunately, I think we're going to face the first time Australia not qualifying for the final this year. So again, I'm sorry because I really like it, but I don't think it will qualify. Next country is North Macedonia with Vastil. Mm, I think the answer is no. I think the staging is pretty surprising. Mm. Let's be honest. And and Vasil as an artist, and we saw him like in the press center and everything. He's adorable. This guy is so sweet. I really want him to qualify. The song is is kind of a grower for me because when I saw it on stage, I started to like it more. And you know the mirror thing and everything. It looks pretty good. I wish him to qualify with all my heart, um, and I hope he will. Um, I don't think he's going to qualify in any scenario, to be honest. i even going to say that I, I'm afraid it's going to be the last place of that semifinal. <laughs> again, not because I don't like it, because I think that's what's going to be. Sorry again. Next up is Ireland with Leslie Roy. Yeah, what do you think about that? Qualify or uh, not qualify? I was kind of surprised when I saw the, the staging. They put a lot of thinking about the staging and I really, really like it and appreciate it. It's very, very original. A lot of things going on, but I just think that it will take people some time to connect with that performance. And sadly, I don't see it quality. Mm -hmm. um, actually, I agree with you. Although Leslie is adorable and the staging concept is one of the beauty I have ever seen, especially this year. And very creative. Very creative. Yeah, very creative. Um, you know, creative. It's not, it's not it's, 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 reminder, it's not a visuals. It's a, from paper, which is bravo. Yeah, so, that's yeah. right. It's not only LED screen. Uh, which I really appreciate in this year, you know, every, everybody just ran after LED screen and Leon lights while mm -hmm. Ireland didn't do it. But again, I I'm, was I wasn't impressed by Leslie's voice in the jury house. Yeah, that's one of my disappointments. I really and hope I, I really hope for the uh, actual the shows that he improved, but they have time to improve. I think so. Uh, well, and well, well, only a few days, but. Yeah, I don't know. I believe it won't qualify, unfortunately. And maybe it will be close to that. I don't. I really don't know. But I think that maybe running and singing and all together didn't do well to that act. So unfortunately, the answer is no for that one as well. You know what yeah, I will say. You know what I said. I have still. I uh, have. I have still my hope, and I will call. Oh, definitely. There is all, always a hope, if, especially in that semifinal. I think that maybe one or two countries are definitely out, but the artist is definitely yeah. the game is open. Yeah. Okay, next country is Cyprus with Elena Zagarino. Yeah, we that's, right. that's that's obvious. On fire, my fake Italian blood. Uh, <laughs> they will qualify, no doubt. No doubt. Staging is perfect. She sings, she dances. Unbelievable. Yeah, and I just want to say that vocally, she's even better than every, everybody thought, right? Mm. Especially the team here. I mean, we always love Cyprus and Elena. But she nailed it totally. So yeah, the answer is yes. But again, I'm just missing her personality. Not even in the press center, no nothing. I don't see her personality. You know, who who are you? I'm I'm missing that part. Even though the whole package is perfect, I just want to see her more as an artist, which I'm missing that part. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can uh, agree. Okay, uh, next up is No Way Tix. Unbelievable. I'm in love oh, with that guy. I'm in love with that guy. He's so talented, so special. You can laugh as much as you want. I think he will do really good. Of course, he will qualify for the final, and I, I guess he will be in the top 10 in the final. Yeah, Karen, what about you? Qualify. I want him seeing the final, reacting. Yeah. I don't think it will qualify, unfortunately. Uh, oh. I think the song is too repetitive. Yeah, there's the wings and all the demons, etc. But I think that it will be lost in the mix. I believe it will be the 11th place of that semi, by the way. Um, or maybe 12th. It can qualify, of course. But if you ask me to predict only yes or no, I will sadly say no at the current time. Okay, time is ticking because we're going to talk about Croatia, TikTok. 
I'll be now. No, for me. Don't see it. Surprise non qualifier. Even people like it, I don't see it gonna qualify. Nir, what about you? Oh, I think she at least in in my perspective, she kind of surprised me. I really mm. like the outfit, the dancer is she sings pretty good. I don't like the song that much, but I have a feeling that she will qualify. Mm -hmm. I see. Actually, about that one, I'm really confused. For me, sometimes it's yes, yeah, sometimes it's no. Um, I, I really 50. don't. 50-50. I'm going to put 50-50. Yeah, I, I really don't like to say 50-50 because, you know, I want to say direct answers because it's a video, etc. Um, yeah, I, I believe it will qualify. Uh, by the way, uh, there are better songs in that summary, if you ask me. Um, but I think that, yeah, she's a good looking, the dancers move really good. Um, and I don't know, maybe her spot will, will be good for her as well. Um, yeah, but, but, but it can be a, totally a surprise non-qualifier. Okay, next up is Belgium, Hoover Phonic. A lot of, peop a lot of people sleeping on this, I think, because of staging. It's so unique, and they've done perfectly this time. I think they're going to qualify. It's just perfect. Everything's perfect for Belgium you know, this the, year. The term the term sleeping on it is so, you know, out of context because I was literally sleeping during. Uh, for me, it's a no. There's nothing going on on stage. You know, she stands, she sings really good, but that's it. It's too dark. It's too... Gothic for me. So. Um, I believe it will qualify. This is an art, guys. It's something unique. There's no such a song in that semi-final. And let, let me say it's the closest thing to rock song that we have in that semi. And it isn't rock, of course, but it's the closest one to be. And I believe that a lot of people will find a, a comfort home in that one, comfort house in that one. Jury will totally love it. Staging is on point. It's simple, but and yet it's dark, but not too much dark. I love the video art. Um, KK voice is amazing. And to be honest, being between Croatia and Israel will definitely elevate Belgium because they are totally different from, from that one. Um, yeah, yeah. Although on, on our previous video, I didn't see it qualifying. Now I totally changed my mind. The answer is yes. Okay, next up is Israel, Eden Alena. Yeah. Listen, this lady is crazy. She's so good in life. Like, we knew she know how to sing, but it came together with dance and everything. The staging looks amazing. Especially that part when you have that side screen. Looks pretty, pretty good. Um, the whistle is on point. What a great surprise from Israel. Yeah, what about your parents? Yeah, yeah. Uh... It will not qualify. Uh, Stadium is amazing, like always. Um, vocally, she's amazing. I love the, the brave dress. You like that pug? Yeah, I like the pug. Fallacy machine gun. Um. <laughs> All right, I like it. Overall, I like it. I think she will be uh, signed out in the blood bat. Basically, all, both semis are blood bats. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> Actually, I agree. Um, about Israel, it's it's still 50-50 for me. Uh, if you ask what I want, yeah, I want Israel in the, in the final, and not because I'm from Israel, because I do believe this is a good song. I, you know, I liked it for, to begin with, even the, the previous, previous, previous version. <laughs> um, I don't know, Ed is a good performer. I had some issues with the staging. I think it, it isn't sharp, let's say it like that. Something in the dancing, something with the camera angles. And, and yet I believe that Eden Charisma will elevate it. The whistles, of course, are just not of that word. I mean, the good thing, of course. And, hey, um, she's also, also said in a meeting break that she broke the one beat to uh, practice balls or whatever she, the instruments she practiced on. The brilliant. Yeah, yeah I know that's what right. I know what she's talking about, but I forget what's in English, what's the word. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand what you say. Even I, I can't uh, remember as well that the name, um, but I believe it can it can qualify. Yeah, the answer. Is. Next up is Romania. Roxanne. One of the disappointments this year. Um, 
vocally, uh, she needs a vocal coach. <laughs> Not for me, but from Romanian friends. It's just uh, when she moves, when she moves, she breathes a lot. She needs to breathe calmly, calm, girl, calm, be calm. <laughs> yeah, but be what I like to smoke on the stage. Uh, much better than without a smoke, but still, I won't qualify. Sad. Yeah, same uh, for me. Yeah, let's move on from here. Yeah, same for me. It's just not really on point. Uh, too much going on on stage, and you know, it it just messed up the song. So yeah, for me, it's uh, really disappointing because I really thought this song will qualify, but with that performance, I don't see it happening. Let me just quote you something, please. I lost myself. I think that's the definition of that performance by Roxanne, by the way. I mean, I love Roxanne, you know it. I love Amnesia. It's one of my top 15, even top 10 of the year as an audio, but the performance is just a mess. She ran all over the stage. I don't know, even the dancers look too much for me. You know, th there was a moment where she just sat and it looks like someone gonna hit her head. I don't know. It was very strange. Too much going on. The outfit is definitely a Barbara, du Barbara Dax contender for me, uh, by the way. Nah, they are worse. Yeah. They are worse than her. Yeah, I mean, the, those two colors, pants or whatever you call it. Um, yeah, too much went there. I love the smoke, but it may be the, the only thing I, I like there. Um, and vocally, yeah, vocally it wasn't on point at all. I think maybe she was too nervous, too excited, or maybe just running and breathing and singing again. It's a challenge, it will leave me, it's a challenge. Um, yeah, although it will be surprised, I will say no, even definitely. And next up is Azerbaijan, FN. I really like the performance. Yeah. The girls sing really, really good. The video art is beautiful. I like the part with the snake. I would show the snake even more. Or maybe there is an augmented reality thing that we haven't seen yet. That's really nice. Um, I just don't like her dance so much. She looks a little clumsy when she dances, especially in that like sexy train dancing. It looks, it looks fake. Like if it's not seem sexy, don't do it because it looks a bit forced. But in general, the performance is really good. Like she sings perfect, and you know, is it looks very authentic, especially in the in the third part of the song. I really, so, I, yeah. really I really love the fire, fire fireball comes out and the eye. I really like that part. One of my favorites. Yeah, it's a good performance. Right. No yeah, doubt. yeah. So I don't know for some reason a lot of fans and journalists as well didn't like it. I think it, it was quite good. Yeah, she didn't move that much, but honestly, I really don't care because I believe good vocal performance over too much dance. And this one is good. Yeah, of course, something here has to be improved. Maybe the dance itself, maybe to be more sassy. Uh, because I believe Fenty is a good girl to try to be sassy and sometimes it doesn't work. Um, but vocally, it was good. I love the snake. I love the artwork. I love the LED screen. You know, the combination between ping, gold, turkeys, it, to begin with, it sounds really not good together, but actually it was very attractive. Uh, so I want to say yes, but the problem is I said too much yeses this time. Um, so let me say yes, but in the end of the video, I'm going to pull out some of them again. Um, so yeah, the answer is yes, but I'm definitely going to pull out other country instead of it, or maybe pull out as a version. We'll see in two minutes from now. And I still have to decide while we're calling it. So it's definitely going to, you know, be a lesson of how hard is the final one. Yeah, it's the same problem as me, as the round. I just, I want to see Azerbaijan in the final, but at the same time, I just, yeah, it's 
No 50-50, guys. It's Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan will qualify. <laughs> I hope, I hope, because the song is really nice. I mean, yeah, yeah it's not amazing, etc. I mean, we have, we've shared our criticism back then, but yeah, yeah. Um, okay, two songs left in that semifinal. Ukraine, go away. I think the answer is yes. Big with yes. A lot of S, Big yes. Right? Big yes. And let me just say, guys, the best staging of that. Yeah, one of the best. Yeah. I agree. Very crazy. It's not bad. It's not bad. It surprised a lot of people. I imagine something different in my vision for that, for that song, but it was kind of nice. And the vocals are like unbelievable. Mm-hmm. That's right. She sings so good. And that was only in the first rehearsals when we saw her singing. And it was phenomenal because it was the first time on stage. Well done. Yeah. Okay, so it seems that we agree. So let's move on to the last country. Is Destiny from Mal? I think the answer is yes, right? The answer is yes, even though I must be honest. You're disappointed, I was right? kind of disappointed when I saw the performance. And I saw only the first one. I must be honest, I didn't saw the second one. It just looked too similar to Chameleon meeting Neta. Yeah, that's the, because that that, that pink dress looks exactly like what Neta used to wear, and now they changed the outfit with a horrible one to that silver outfit. No, it's that, not. I don't know. It just don't look that good. And I I I, I imagined something totally different in my in my vision, and I don't know. We got a performance that is too. It's too much. I really like that part, you know, for the for the trumpet part, but it's good. It's not that it's bad. I just expected something wow to be the winner. And with that performance, I don't see Malta winning. And that's disappointing for me because I really wanted Malta to win this year. Uh, yeah, I can agree. For me, it's a qualifier. However, I even not sure it's gonna it's gonna win that semifinal, to be honest. And uh, so therefore, I'm even not sure it's gonna, I mean, no, let me fix myself. Um, almost sure Malta won't be the winner of that Eurovision, unfortunately. Um, it's not that the performance is horrible or something, but it isn't the winner performance. Uh, but yeah, the answer is yes, qualifier. Current? I wish she t- would change everything from clothes. Well, I like silver thing, but the, the, those pink long boots, it's too long. I imagine this will be short or short ones. Barra from Germany, they have a pink boots. They have short pink boots. Barra from Germany. It's the same thing. It will be much better. Uh, but yeah, it's some... It's, at the same time, it's very memorable because it's too much pink. When people remember pink. But yeah, it's too much. And I'm kind of disappointed um, as a staging voice. But no doubt she will qualify. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so I just want to say that I, if you put intention or not, I mentioned more than 10 countries to qualify, which isn't illegal, of course. Um, so let me just um, correct it or fix it or whatever you call it. I think that there are three countries that are on the, fi- or maybe more even, that are the 50-50 zone uh, for me again, yeah, not for all of us. And those are Slovenia, unfortunately. Israel, Croatia, and Azerbaijan. I believe that among those four, only three will qualify. I still have difficulty to point and say who, who of them will qualify and who not. Um, maybe Slovenia won't because the song is quality, but I believe that there are no so many voters that will go after it. Um, but if you ask me, it's, it deserves place more than, for example, yeah. others that I mentioned here. It will be. Um, if, if they... It was just for vocals. It should be top five <laughs> for females, but you know. Yeah, that's right. But I don't know she impressed me. You know the whole concept, the message. But again, it's me. So, um, any other remarks, guys? No, not really. Okay I... then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Karen, it's true. I think it's Azerbaijan will definitely qualify because it's a good song. But... Yeah. Never mind. They will. But it will they be will. very... Yeah, they will. They will, they will. They will. It will probably, yeah, because, you know, it's the only ethnopop in this semi, and it's definitely going to have some voters. 
Okay. So still with difficulties, we try to predict or almost predict if, if you look at my prediction, <laughs> semifinal one. Yeah, it definitely was hard to do it. Let's wish good luck to all semifinalists of semifinal one. And we'll see on Tuesday who will qualify or not. Thank you guys. Keep safe. And don't forget to subscribe and like our videos. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Open up, write it down.